Hi everyone! Today, I'll be showing you guys how to make black bean tempeh. I'm just going to jump right into it. So there are going to be three ingredients that you'll need, and I will put the specific ratios and amounts in the description box below. Number one, you need starter culture. Now I bought this one from Amazon, but you can also find it at certain health food stores. The second ingredient you'll need is white vinegar. And if you don't have white vinegar on hand, rice vinegar works just as well too. And the last ingredient is of course black beans. So to start off, I soak the beans in a pot of water overnight for about 8-12 to 12 hours. Once the overnight soak is finished, I'll drain the water and then refill the pot of beans with fresh water. The next step is to boil the beans in the fresh water for an hour and then discard the water from the beans. Next, pat the beans dry with a clean towel. As you can see here, I laid the beans on a flat towel and on top of an oven tray before I started patting. Now once the beans are dry to touch, place them in a bowl and let them cool down to lukewarm. Next, add the vinegar in and mix it up. Then add the starter culture and also mix well again. Spread the beans in a container so they lay in a flat layer that's about one to one and a half inches thick. The container that you need has to be ventilated, so what I did is I put them in a Tupperware and then I covered it with plastic wrap. Then I poked evenly spaced holes in the plastic wrap for ventilation. At this point, you want to maintain the beans at a temperature between 85 and 91 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 hours. I was able to do this by placing my beans in the Tupperware in the oven and then turning the oven light on. Now remember, do not turn the oven on, just the light but not the actual heating element. So after those 12 hours are up, you can remove the beans from the heat source. So here are how my beans look after 12 hours, which is right after I take them out of the oven. And here are my beans again at the 48 hour mark. At this point, the temp tempeh might actually be finished fermenting, but I normally go about 72 hours before calling it good. And again, here are the beans at 72 hours or three days after I first put them in the oven. And voila, here is my finished product at the four day mark. So at this point, I want to package the tempeh and end the fermentation process by placing them in the fridge or the freezer. So I cut my tempeh into blocks. Um, you can see here that my knife skills need quite a bit of work, but this should do. Next, place the cut tempeh in Ziploc bags or sealed containers. I actually made a very large batch of tempeh, so any of the tempeh that I'm planning on cooking within the next week. I'll just place them in the fridge. For the tempeh that I want to store for weeks or months before cooking, I will place in the freezer for long-term storage. So there you have it. That's how you make black bean tempeh. And again, I will put the exact ingredient ratios in the description box below. And thanks for watching.